friends, if you're new to my channel, my name is Nicole. If you're old to my channel, you might recognize that this is a different filming backdrop than I usually have. I decided to try something different. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this or go back to filming on my bed. Let me know what you think, but bear with me for now. I don't know how good the lighting is, so we're just going to do what we can. In any case, happy December 1st. I'm going to be uploading this on the 1st of December as the beginning to my Vlogmas. Now, if you know Vlogmas, technically you're supposed to do a vlog for every day leading up to Christmas, but I'm in school right now. If you don't know, I'm doing my master's and I have three essays coming up that are due at the beginning of January. So if I did a vlog every day, a lot of them would be really boring. It would be like, hi, I'm going into class. Hi, I just got out of class. I'm going to work on my essay. Hi, this is me working on my essay which I feel like is not worth doing. So instead, I decided what I'm going to do is put up a video of some sort every day until Christmas. So it'll be a combination of vlogs, which I might like vlog a couple of days and then um, edit that all together and put it up, and also normal like sit down videos so that I can get in a lot of Christmas content and still also show you kind of what I'm up to here in London in December. I also get to go home, uh, in the third week of December, so you'll get to kind of see a little bit of me at home too, which is really exciting, but I have a lot of Christmas content to share and also just some like normal theater videos as well, but I didn't want to stop them just because it's Christmas. Like I have some shows coming up that I'll probably do reviews of and I kind of want to do some stage door videos, so I figured I'll just throw it all in so that we can get through the month of December with a video every day until Christmas. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know. I'm going to try not to miss a day, but a lot of that's going to involve some pre-filming stuff, so bear with me on that. Now that you've made it through my super long intro, it's time to get into our video today. So today I want to talk about my favorite stagey, theatery Christmas albums. Obviously I'm not covering every Christmas album. I know like Idina Menzel has an album, Kristen Chenoweth has an album, but I just wanted to talk about my favorite ones. Alright, so I have my notes here so that I can remember everything, or rather so that I don't have to remember everything. And the first album that I want to talk about is the Pentatonics That's Christmas to Me album. And I know that Pentatonics are an acapella group and aren't technically theatery and stagey, but um, Kirsten Mal Maldonado, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but the girl from Pentatonics is going to be in Kinky Boots from I think February to April playing Lauren, so that means it's a stagey album now at least for the purposes of this video. In any case, they have some gorgeous, gorgeous renditions of kind of classic Christmas songs on that album. My favorite personally is Sleigh Ride, and so I had to include it. Another album that I guess wouldn't have been theatery whenever it came out originally, but I consider theatery now, is Josh Groban's Noel album, which originally came out in 2007. He is releasing a deluxe edition this year that has some new songs on it, or songs that like I think some of them are old recordings that just had never been put onto an album before, but I'm so excited to hear it. Before I ever knew Josh from The Great Comet, which I saw him um, in the role of Pierre in, I knew him as like the Christmas music guy, and I was like, oh yeah, like Josh Groban, Michael Bublé, it's Christmas time. But now I love Josh so much, he's such a lovely man and such a talented actor and musician and performer, and I know that it is Christmas time when I pull out the Josh Groban Christmas music. The next solo album that I want to talk about is Leslie Odom Jr.'s album called Simply Christmas, which is beautiful. It's full of these like jazzy renditions of Christmas songs that are just absolutely lovely. And Leslie has such a smooth, wonderful voice that's so perfectly suited to Christmas music. It came out last year, so you may already have it. If you don't, rush out and get it because it's wonderful. Personally, my favorite songs on it are probably Merry Christmas Darling and I'll Be Home for Christmas, which also are two of my favorite Christmas songs just of all time. So I was so excited when Red Leslie included them on his CD. Now, moving into kind of Christmas albums that aren't just from one performer, of course, there are years and years worth of Broadway's, um, what is it, Carols for a Cure that you can find on iTunes. I tend to pick and choose which performer songs I want to buy or which um, show songs, I guess. So basically what that is, is uh, for the past several years, I don't think there was one last year, and I don't know if they're doing it this year, but Broadway shows would record or have several other performers record a song, um, some sort of Christmas song, so there's lots and lots of content there. My favorite one though I think is the Broadway Cares Carols for a Cure 2001 album, I think, um, which has some lovely things on it. Let me, I, I have some notes, but it has songs from Jane Krakowski, Alan Cumming, um, Anthony Rapp, Billy Porter. My personal favorites are um, 
Audrey McDonald did a rendition of White Christmas that is so beautiful that I like almost cry whenever I listen to it. And then Adam Pascal did a cover of New York State of Mind. I'm not really sure whether it's considered a Christmas song if we're being perfectly honest with ourselves, but it's great anyways. So I love that one as well. Now the last album that I want to talk to you about, and I'm looking at this so I don't get it wrong, but is the West End Goes Mad for Christmas album from 2014, which is actually full of original music done for the Make a Difference Trust. So it benefited them, I think it still does, I guess, if you buy it on iTunes, and it's all original songs. And sometimes I get so sick at Christmas time, um, whenever I'm like home and in the car a lot, of hearing the same songs on the radio over and over and over again. Like, why does every woman on earth think she needs to record Santa Baby? I'm not really sure. We don't need that many recordings of it. Um, so it's nice to hear some original music, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So my favorite songs on the album are Gina Beck recorded this lovely song called Praying For You that I really, really love. Alistair Bremer recorded this song called Home that honestly just makes me feel warm and cozy inside and I love it so much. Um, and then, surprise, surprise, um, Killian Donnelly recorded a song called Together We Can Make It, which I absolutely love. It's the most like, cheery, feel-good Christmas tune. Honestly, I really love every song on that album, so I highly recommend checking it out and also, of course, checking out the rest of these albums because they're my favorite and I'm recommending them to you. <laughs> All right, so that's it for my stagey Christmas album recommendations. If you guys have ones that I didn't talk about in this video, make sure to leave them in the comments below because I am always on the lookout for more good Christmas music. And make sure to let me know if you like one of these albums and if so, what your favorite song from it is. Otherwise, you can find me on social media at NicoleAtman16. I'll leave links to that down below in the description box and links to my blogs. So I hope that you guys are excited for some Christmas content here on the channel and you're ready to get festive with me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!